Hey, what's up, guys? It's Luke Remedy, and welcome to the video. Today, we got some more clips on the level 74 baby pier. I think I'm going to title this video RuneScape, but my Gmall is on steroids. Because, well, when you're level 74 combat and you have an Inferno Cape and 90 Strength, you tend to just one hit everyone. So enjoy these clips, and I got a lot more videos on the way. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering how I ended up dying on the account, I got lured by med levels. Rip. I was fighting this dude. I had him teleblocked, and he tried to run towards the ditch. I hit him with the granite hammer first after I entangled him, because most people tend to pray range after they get entangled on peers. After I did that, I did a couple fagies into my granite hammer whack into my gmail spec, and I hit him for a 30-31. He died. I teleported to this guy. He was on this hill in like 14 wild. Surprisingly, I actually get a lot of fights here. People think this is a good place to stand to get targets. I don't really know. He popped out from underneath me, and I killed him with the 40 fire surge. He said good fight, so he's pretty cool. I was attacking this guy who was camping prayer melee, but I still tried to kill him through prayer. After my gmail hit, he was only 1 HP, but then he turned around and DDS'd me, and he died to my recoil. <laughs> I only got like 100k loot because of the emblem, but I thought it was really funny still. Why the heck do bots go in Bounty Hunter Worlds? It makes no sense. I got this guy as a target. He was in Zami Robes and his name was Bro Don't Run, which was very ironic because he ended up running from me and I killed him. This team was trying to drag me into multi so they could all pile me and try to kill me. My target was only a few squares off multi, but I still went in for my spec and I was able to basically one hit him in front of his team. This guy was doing his best to try to get a log out on me and escape me. He kept trying to freeze me and then walk around trees so I couldn't hit him. I had to use both my mithril seeds and my teleport to target a few times actually to get hits on him. I eventually ended up killing him but there was definitely a few times where it was really close he could have escaped I think. Yeah, I really have no idea what this guy was doing. I don't know if he was actually trying to PK or was a looter but yeah, I'm sorry bro. Or this guy, I, he was at chins, he had red dehyde with like some kind of weird looking hat. I have absolutely no idea what people are up to half the time on this game. I also felt kind of bad for this guy. He was only 67 HP and I just bolt instamalled him. I don't know if he just forgot to protect item or he was actually risking it, but I got a light ballista from him, so I'm not complaining. Nothing but a quick little animation stall into an instabolt. I don't know about you guys, but the way those kills look is so satisfying. I swear my Ring of Suffering actually gets me so many more kills than I realize. When you're fighting on peers and your defense is 1, that means that basically every single hit is going to do some kind of damage. Which means that basically every hit my Ring of Suffering will rebound some of that damage back onto them. And sometimes it leads to some pretty funny kills. I don't know if I'm like the luckiest PKer ever or something, but I just keep killing some of these BH PKers and they just forget to protect item. I killed another guy there for his light ballista. I have no idea, man. When I'm going in for stacks from the fire surge into the Gmall and I have PID, there's really no way to really eat out of it. Like in that clip, I hit that guy for 84 HP in the same exact tick and that guy had 83 HP, so... There really wasn't a way for him to survive. This guy was one iteming with a dark bow? I have no idea. <laughs> if someone knows what they're doing, it actually is pretty fairly easy to escape in BH. All you have to do is really just free someone and use the trees to your advantage. Because I was fighting this guy in 32 wild, I couldn't use my bounty hunter teleport target to him. So he was able to stand around the tree and get a log out from me, which is kind of annoying, but I think it's how the game is meant to be played. I got this guy as a target, and right before I attacked him, he actually skipped me as a target. But at that point, you're already up in 30 wild, you got a guy TB, you might as well try to kill him, right? He was only 74 HP, so I made quick work of exterminating him from the wilderness. When I say there's a lot of bots in BH, it is an understatement, I swear. Probably like one in every four targets is a freaking bot. Oh, and for the people wondering, this account isn't my account. It's an account that I'm borrowing, so I didn't get the Inferno Cape on it. I get accused probably like 10 times a night of buying the Inferno Cape, but once again, it's not my account. I didn't do the Inferno Cape on it, I'm simply borrowing the account, so... Please stop accusing me, I didn't do anything wrong. If you didn't know this already, the way Bounty Hunter works is that you can get targets that are within 5 combat levels of you. So since I'm level 74 combat, I can get targets all the way from 69 combat to 79 combat. And 5 combats is a lot on a pure. I mean, this guy that I'm fighting in this clip probably had higher attack than me, higher strength than me, higher range and mage than me, and higher HP than me. But of course, I had a really big gear advantage, so it probably evened itself out. This guy had a build that you really don't see very often at this combat level. He was using a toxic staff of the dead, so he had 75 attack. I don't know if this build isn't good or this guy just didn't know what he was doing, but I killed him with bolts. Rest in peace to all of the peers at 44s that I've killed throughout this journey. 
But seriously, this type of birding is so incredibly fun. Whenever someone in my stream chat asks me how to get into PKing or get into birding, I tell them to make one of these type of accounts. So this is really weird. This guy has the account named Amenity with like spaces in it and stuff. He's actually a Venezuelan who took my name. I think he's trying to steal my identity. This kill is pretty funny. I surged this guy and he froze me before I could Gmail him, but then he walked into my Gmail and I killed him with only one Gmail spec. Look at this dude, he's a low level zerk, he's got venge, he's got defense, he's got everything, but he's dead. The zerkers are always pretty good loot too, at least compared to the pures. The pures you only get like 50k normally, but the zerkers risk at least a few hundred k. I think it's safe to say there's some people in BH that really don't like me. <laughs> This guy was upset that I was attacking him with mage from far away, so he pulled out a crossbow, and I still one-hit him. It was unscold zerker loot, but hey, I'll take it. The fight's deep wild on pures is actually so much fun, it's basically like a deathmatch until someone runs to the KBD lever to escape. This guy was TB'd, so he actually ran west of the Chaos Fanatic to try to escape me. He was not happy when he died, he was flaming me. <laughs> I was one step out of one tick distance with this guy, so what I did was when I got a big surge, I put my crossbow on so I could have access to the spec bar. Then I clicked to walk towards him so I'd be in one tick distance, and I double clicked the Gmail spec so both of my specs would go off. I know that's kind of a lot of information in a really short amount of time for one clip. Would you guys like me to do more in-depth videos on fights and explain more of my thought process? Let me know in the comments. The BHBKers love the trash talk when I'm maging them. This guy said something like, are you done or something with a question mark? It was pretty funny. Especially considering I was able to freeze him like one step out of the wilderness and kill him. <laughs> Since I play on so many accounts, people on my stream always ask me what my favorite account build to play on actually is. And I almost always tell them that this 50 attack account is by far the most fun. I mean, look at that kill. How can you possibly survive that as a low-level account? I'm not exactly sure what this guy was doing. I think he was in a fight before and he was almost out of food or something, but he was wearing a bunny hat and he barraged me. I don't know what the heck was going on. But this is one of those rare cases where a peer actually is risking some loot. I got 150 poisoned arrows, a G mall cash, Abi mall, amulet of avarice is probably over a mil loot. This guy even said good fight to me, even though I killed him in a completely unfair way. I, he was way too nice to me. And just to remind you guys again, the looters at this combat bracket are everywhere. I would say like half of your targets overall are going to be looters. Here's another fight with this guy. This time I used what I normally do. I surged him and I faked into my crossbow and I insta-mauled him. Even though my granite hammer whack at the end was through prayer, I still killed him. The amount of damage that I can stack with my surge to insta-mauls is just crazy. No one's HP is safe. Even if they're brewed up over their HP, there's still a chance of me killing them. And even though it hits hard most of the time, obviously there's still chances where you're not going to hit very good with it. But that really doesn't matter. It's all about using the momentum of hits to win fights rather than going for Kalos most of the time. I was able to just do a bunch of fakies and combo this guy out with mage in range. And it was actually pretty funny. Right when he died, he walked right underneath me, so I didn't even have to move to loot his stuff. Now this was a really hilarious clip and I'll try to explain it as best I can. So this guy is an unscholar in BH, which means that he risks about as much as the accounts that come fresh off Tutorial Island. And I didn't know this until later, but apparently he was having beef with another BH player or something. But anyhow, he ended up accidentally scrolling up on the guy when he attacked him. And I must have been blessed by the RuneScape gods because that was the exact moment that I got him as a target. When I killed him, I didn't know what to expect at first, but I knew he had one prayer and he was an unscholar. I got a freaking AGS. I also got a Berserker Ring, so I think it was like 15 mil loot or something. This was a pretty crazy loot because you almost never get anything this good in BH. Well, that's the end of another pure PK video. Let me know what you guys thought of it because I have a lot more clips of the same type of PKing. If that's what you guys want to see, of course. I do have a lot of different type of videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. And once again, thanks for the support. Thank <laughs> you.